Okay, so today we're going to look at how to find the area of triangles. In the last movie, we saw that right triangles were about half the area, or exactly half the area, of a square that surrounds them. If you can find the area of that rectangle, in this case it's 2 by 2 and has an area of 4, if you divide that in half, you'll find the area of just the red triangle. This works for all right triangles, because they'll always have a rectangle that surrounds them. Just find the area of the rectangle, divide it in half, and you'll find the area of the red triangle. But it turns out that this works for all triangles, not just right triangles. What you need to do is think about the base and the height. And the best way to do this is to maybe draw a rectangle around the triangle. Then we can see the height is 2 and the base is 3. Another way to find the height is to measure from the tip top of the triangle down to the base. This height will always be the same height as a rectangle that you drew. See, if we move it over, you can see it's the same height. And that way you don't have to draw an entire square. Okay, now if we know the base and the height, then we can find the area of that rectangle. Even if you haven't drawn it, you can just pretend it's there. Okay. In this case, we see the rectangle has an area of 6 units squared. You can count the 6 squares inside the rectangle. Okay. It's 2 units high. It's 3 units at the base. That gives us an area of 6 units. Okay. What we're going to try and do, though, is prove that the red part of the triangle is just half, right? Because we only want to find the area of the red triangle. So we're going to end up moving some pieces around here to show that the red area is just half. Here we go. So we see that the yellow area is exactly equal to the red area. They're both exactly half of the total rectangle. Let's put them back. You see, the red is half, and the yellow is half of the area. So the total area is 6. Half of it must be 3. So mathematically, we say that as 1 half of the base times the height equals the area of the triangle. OK? Some other ways to do this are saying base times height divided by 2, cut in half. What that looks like for this triangle is 3 units times 2 units divided by 2. Or 6 units divided by 2 equals 3 units squared. So we can see that this base times height divided by 2 will find the area of any triangle, whether it's a right triangle, a isosceles triangle, or in this case, a scalene triangle. Great. Good luck. Thank <laughs> you.